on a massive hack of Oregon DMV records that has a lot of people wondering if their personal information has been compromised. Kylie Boshi joins us in studio to break things down and Kyle, you have some suggestions on what people should do here. Yeah, first, don't be alarmed. There's really nothing you need to do right away. You can monitor credit reports for signs of fraudulent activity. Additionally, it's always good to keep a close eye on bank accounts and credit card activity just to make sure nothing weird is going on. So what happened? Well, this is all part of a broader cyber attack that has hit dozens of companies and organizations over the past few weeks. The hackers exploited a vulnerability in a program called Move It, a popular tool for transferring files quickly over the internet. The Oregon Department of Transportation has used that file sharing software for years. ODOT confirmed yesterday that about three and a half million driver's license and ID card files were compromised. That includes some sensitive personal information. I spoke with cybersecurity expert Patrick Miller today. He said the ransomware hackers posted online that they're going to delete the data, but he doesn't really believe them. So keep an eye on your accounts. You know, like always be vigilant, monitor your credit. Um, I go into my bank and check all the alert boxes to make sure that anything that happens in there, I get a notice of a transaction over a dollar, even something like that. So keep an eye on your, your records and get as many notices as you can just to make sure that someone's not using this data against you in a bad way. Under federal law, you can get a free copy of your credit report every 12 months. We've got links so you can request them on our website. As for the DMV, this probably won't impact day-to-day -day operations.